Hi, my name is Stephen Walls. I have been in the AEC industry for over 15 years now and have taken on many roles from drafting and designing to model managing and implementing company-wide BIM and SIM standards, procedures, and workflows. Welcome to my weekly Design to Visualization video release where I'll be reviewing advanced tools and workflows covering a multitude of design and visualization programs currently being implemented within the AEC industry. If you have any specific requests on what you'd like to see me review, or would even like to collaborate on these, feel free to reach out to me at stevewalls at hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at hotmail.com. If you like what you see in these videos, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the lower right-hand corner so that you can stay in the loop as I release new videos. Hope you enjoy. For this demonstration, I'm going to review the area command, and we're going to tally up all the impervious areas. So when you initiate the area command, by default, it wants to uh, select your corners so you, you could define your boundary, or you could select by object and add or subtract the areas. In this case, we already have our areas defined, so we're going to add, and then we're going to select object, so we can add multiple objects. And we're going to just select the hatches for now. And as we select these hatches, you can see that they highlight. So right now we've got the driveway. And we're going to select the pad in which our, we're laying our equipment on. And then we're going to select the entrance. But as you can see in the bottom, in the command line, you can see the running total of our areas. And it'll also give you the individual areas as well. We could break it down further. And once we select our areas, I'll pull up the command line, an expanded view of the command line to show you. And let's select that. So now we've got our total areas, right, of our impervious areas. And here you see we've got a total of 76,764.02 square feet. If we hit F2 and pull up our expanded window for our command line, you could see the running total a little clearer. And that's what I'm highlighting here. So for the driveway, we had 12,304 square feet. And the total is obviously going to be 12,304 square feet because that was the first object. And as we add more objects, that total area increases. So the pad area turned out to be 62,468 square feet with a total area of 74,772 square feet. And then the entrance was almost 2,000 square feet with a total area calculation of 76,764 square feet.